Hello, welcome again. This is Reverend Idika A. Imeru. Welcome to Idika Imeru's uh, Ministries Television. Welcome to Expect Good Things with God, where I take you and I reveal to you that when you go to God, when you begin to spend time in the presence of God, you will begin to reap the product of God. Good things begin to happen to you. Let's enjoy a little bit of music. One of the product, one of the outcome of being with God, of spending time in His presence, is that you will always win. One of the things I really enjoyed about the Reverend Doctor, the very Reverend or most Reverend, I can't remember what the title is. I think very Reverend Dr. James Ukebo, who, uh, who was a former moderator of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Nigeria. I don't know which year to which year anymore. I've forgotten to. He's gone to be with the Lord. So, so hear me clearly. When I talk about people who have died, I do not address them as dead people. So just get that from me. I address them as living people because I'm pretty sure they are alive. Because to me, there's nothing like death. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been on the studio for, for a long time today doing, this, doing a lot of recordings. That is going out to all parts of the world. So that's why I was stretching my neck. <laughs> when I began to encounter... Reverend Dr. James Ukebu, there were things about him that I so much loved and enjoy. He, he's one of my idols, one of my heroes, one of my champions. When he bought his 505, I think at that time he might have been at the Yaba Church, PCN. He wrote very boldly at the back of it. I am a winner. <laughs> I enjoy that. I am a winner. I'm not a loser. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. That's not a simple song. That is a serious song. And one thing I discovered about him, he was always winning. In all his battles, he won. That's true. For some of you who've never been a pastor in the traditional church like Presbyterians, like where I'm from, you have no idea what politics is. You have no idea what it means to be dealing with people. You are telling them the Holy Spirit says we should go this way and they are telling you that their head tells them to go the other route. And many things that man spoke about, many things he would have done for the church. And they simply refused. Same thing with uh, a very reverend Dr. Inyaude, who brought, who wanted to bring the city of Fed or fell apart. Do I blame my church? No, I don't. Why? Because that was where they were limited in their intelligence with God, period. That's all I can say. So we have no one to blame. It's a collective blame. And I refuse to blame anybody. See how we do this business? The business of the kingdom? People refuse to go along with you. 
you go along with God and God will make people see what you are doing and come along you and they will see the greater aspect of the kingdom and they will invest in it and when they invest in it those who refused those groups that refused they will see it maybe that will challenge them to begin to ask God to do the same thing in their midst he wrote clearly on his call I am a winner have you declared to the world what you are Dr. James Ukebu said I am a winner Jesus call us into his presence to ordain us to be winners not losers if you keep losing you are the one who is doing it you are allowing yourself to be bewitched to be manipulated by the spirit of poverty by the mentality and obstructions of problems if you allow problems and troubles of this world to sidetrack you from the glory and the winning power that is ahead of you and within and in the glory above, then you're done. You have no one to blame. You must always win. Winning you must. You can't stop winning. Because that's how the game is played. You don't play to, to lose. You don't play to die. You play to be alive. You play to live. You play to win. You play to be successful. That's how the business of God is played. You don't play for failure. You don't play to make mistakes. Today when I make a call to Archbishop Elijah Mboroi, somewhere here in the United States, I was very joyful in his presence, in talking to him, because I knew I was dealing with a real man of God. Someone who knows the heart of God and who is moving in the flow of the Spirit and the things of God. They are winners. God never called anybody to come and be cheap. You want to be cheap? You want to be cheap? Go to the flea market. You want to be cheap? There are places for cheap people, not in God. God doesn't invite cheap people to follow him. He invites people who have the spirit of winning to follow him. Are you ready to win in life? Then follow the presence. And don't follow losers. So many people on earth are satisfied by losing. They played and they always tell you, I almost win. I don't join the club of almost. I join the club of we won. When the soccer game is played, when it's over, nobody asks whether you were the best in dribbling people. What people ask is, did your team win? And did you win the right way? I want you to always win. In everything you do, you must always win. You must have this mentality that I must always win. And if you have that mentality that that is how your God is, always win. If not, God will not have time for this world. He has time for this world because you want to always win. Our God is a winner, and we, his sons and daughters, cannot be anything but winners. In any good thing we put our hand to do, we must always win. Because you can never begin to approach God without having that mentality of winning. Go ahead, tiger, and win. The lion do not ask the other animals whether they agree to be killed and to be eaten. <laughs> I'm not saying you must be a lion going about and just eating up everybody. No. For the good things of this life that will promote you, your family, your community, the kingdom of God. Go ahead, tiger. Make a kill. Hallelujah. 
have a winning strategy. Like the Katz family. You plan and execute with God. It happened in the secret place. And when you hatch it in the secret place, you always win. You always win. May the Almighty God give you a winning spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.